Another beautiful day in the neighborhood. That would be the desert. It's quite bright right now. I've been up for about a half an hour and I'm going to take a little walk and share some thoughts with you about uh, the caravans. I just cleaned up Happy Haven, or actually I just straightened her up like you do in the morning when you make your bed. The first thing you should do, it always makes me feel awesome. So to show you around a little bit, show you the camp. A couple people have already left and share some thoughts with you about the caravan. Hope you'll join me. Good morning, Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Look at the beauty you wake up to. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a little walk just around the camp and share some thoughts with you. I've been here for 10 days in the caravan. Let me show you inside Happy Haven and how I straighten her up in the morning. I know some of you who are new to my channel don't realize or you haven't caught the video that I did on a full blown on where I sleep. My sleeping arrangements have not changed. I'm still here in the front seat by choice. Love it. Very comfortable. I cozy up. I curl up, pull my legs up. I um, shoot them out diagonal. I can put them up on the dash here. <laughs> I love it. Good morning, Andy. So anyways, let me show you in the back. That's probably a little easier how it's all straightened up. I've got my water bottle here. At nighttime, I usually have it over here so I don't kick it if I'm going out sideways. Most mornings, I'll heat up now a hot water just to heat up the vehicle a little bit. I didn't do that this morning. So, but here's the back. And... I've got that pillow that I use on the one uh, side here, of, on the left side, and then I put my little squishy ball on top of it. I've shown you the insides already. And there's the other pillow for my head. And I'm covering up now with this wool blanket. I was only using one blanket before, but I like this wool blanket the way it sets on my body. And then I put my little uh, fleece blanket that I've got right here. Um, I put that over top of the wool blanket and I push the seat back and then I recline it. I don't know, maybe just a little bit more of a recline. I don't lay it flat because I don't want to. Ah, let's play pick one. For those of you who know, I do Monday meaningful messages, give you a message of the day. This is from my heart collection. I designed these with acrylics. They're really beautiful. So I'm going to uh, grab a one here. Here we are. The heart collection. These have been meaningful to me in my life. Sayings that I put together, that I've things that I work on or I've worked on in my life. Here we are. Take a dose of healthy selfish every day. It will give you energy for the tasks at hand. Wow. And I'm going to put it in my little flower here. There we go. I bought this little guy at a craft show. But you can also get like little, let me see if I have it handy here. I don't know that I have it handy. There's like little gold place card settings people use at weddings and stuff. You can get one of those and put some Velcro on it or a magnet on the bottom. And you can change out your cards every day. All right. So I think, let me show you outside here a little bit and then we'll get walking and talking. The babbling brook out in full force in the desert. I made my coffee this morning outdoors. This is my last day here, so I decided to just get up and get moving a little bit. Just enjoy this last morning in the desert here. And so I set up my Jackery. She's at, she was at 63%. She's now at, let me see what we got here, 65%. I don't even know, you can't probably see that. So the sun's not real bright yet. It's not high in the sky yet. But I've got her out. I'd like to get her powered up before I leave. And I've got the lights that I, solar lights that I put out every night. I turn them off in the morning and then I, yeah. So 
I'm going to walk on down towards the road. I have just had the best time here. You know, actually I started out this morning without doing a video and then I was like, you know what? I want to share with everybody and I know I'm not real clear here. I'm just walking in the sunlight here, but I want to share with you all about this caravan little journey. I was in two caravans last year. Um, both of them probably I'd only stay five or six days. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Early morning, I guess. <laughs> and I would, uh, you know, not uh, stay but five or six days. And then I would um, leave, go to the library, do some work, and I'd come back to another caravan. And it was really an awesome experience. There's some people that are up. But uh, I decided um, this year that when I joined a caravan, I came here on December 31st. And I decided to stay here for, you know, quite a few days and, and really get to know a couple few people here a little better. And that really happens around the campfire and that happens while you're hiking. It's just the, it's just wonderful. Even when, well, actually even when you're sitting outdoors at your rig too. You go over to somebody and just start talking and I like to ask a lot of questions. Um, yeah, I, I feel like people have two feelings about asking questions. One is you're being intrusive and nosy and why are you asking all these questions? And the other, I call it a paradigm shift, is when I'm asking questions, I'm interested in you. I don't need to talk about me all day long. I want to find out about you. What makes you tick? Who are you? Where are you? Those kinds of things. And that's a genuine interest. That's not to be nosy. And I think it's really important we take responsibility and say, you know what? I'm not comfortable answering that question. And then just move on. Um, I'm not pressuring anybody to answer questions. I'm asking questions because I'm curious. And the light's better that way. Who would have thunk? <laughs> so, I do ask a lot of questions. I do get to know people. And, of course, I share about myself, too. I know sometimes I talk more than I listen, and I'm still working on that. God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason, right? <laughs> Anyways... I have a lot of fun getting to know other people, where they're from, why they're out here. Which brings me to, I am starting a, a four-week series. Um, it's going to be called Share the Love Series in February, like for Valentine's Day month. And I have interviewed four different women on their journey as full-time nomads. I think it is going to be awesome and I let me know what you think in the comments when you start watching them four Sundays in February I'm going to just I ask them who they are where they've been you know what they're doing what their why is why they're out here and they got pretty personal and uh, transparent with their lives and I think you're gonna find it fascinating and I think you're gonna hopefully find it relatable, encouraging, empowering, inspiring, those kinds of things that I love to do with all of you. But uh, here's the road. You can see walking up towards the road here, but we're going to go this way because the light's better. Beautiful mountains in the background. And anyways, so that starts February 2nd. And I did the ladies in alphabetical order because I did not know um, who to put first. So they're all in alphabetical order by their first name. And it is Share the Love series. It's, it's a sit and share, only it's uh, sharing the love of their stories with other people. So tune into that. The longest one is about 26 minutes, and then the shortest was, I think, 11 minutes. So, um, I tend to interrupt, and I don't want to, but I didn't want them to go on forever either. So, there was a fine balance. Hopefully, I'll get better at doing these. And if you like them, 
I will uh, see about continuing to do them in the future. Although at the WRTR and the RTR, I'm going to be quite busy volunteering and I'm going to be on two panels. So I think I already did a video on that to invite you all to those who are here. But anyways, the caravans, love them. I made, I'd say two or three at least friends for life now. And one person in particular, we knew each other from last year and she recognized me. I didn't recognize her at first, but she had uh, sprained her wrist and once she told me her little story, then I remembered. But we reconnected and I know if someone made a comment that they love nomads because we will always come back together again at some point. That's, you know, it's not like somebody you meet in sticks and bricks and you may never see them again. Us nomads wandering the desert, especially reconnecting in the winter months here in January, I'm bound to see these people again and I'm very excited about that. So it's definitely a see you later, not a goodbye uh, when we part. Two people have parted already. Uh, they were here for almost, I think, say 12, 13 days. They were here from the onset. And we'll walk back now. And so they left. They're going to the, uh, the caravan that's meeting up. These caravans continue to go to different places. After 14 days, you're supposed to move with 25 miles away to another location. And the WRTR, Women's River Tramp Rendezvous, is starting uh, Tuesday. Today's Friday, so people are, are getting situated in a new camp. Uh, overall, I think we had, I don't know, I think we had about 14 people here or so that were, that were here um, within, the, within the last week. The first week was only like seven or eight people, and it continued to grow, and that was fun too. I enjoyed being one of the first here because then I got to know people as they came in rather than coming into a large group and uh, trying to catch up. So I really dug that. I came here December 31st, as I think I mentioned. But I am off now to <clears throat> the casino parking lot in uh, Parker near Walmart. Um, that's just a, last year was a comfort place for me could go in and get breakfast for like three dollars and of course you have the nice facilities you've got the running water and plush toilets and it's not that I um, miss them I just enjoy it when I have them so I'm going to uh, now that you know Happy Haven such a nice place to, in the mornings I have been like crawling into my nest there in the center do some paperwork I've been doing my taxes and receipts and catching up with my income and my expenses and things like that I like to do. I don't uh, like accounting, but I do like numbers. I like adding up, seeing what I've spent and where I'm going and what I'm doing. So anyways, do a little journaling, make some plans. Of course, I'm always working on the videos too, but so that's my plan for a couple days. And then on Tuesday, is a meeting of all the volunteers and we'll be um, you know together for that and then, or Monday and then Tuesday is the actual it starts so just enjoying a little walk here this morning some alone time and some sharing time with you and letting you know that uh, this has been a great kickoff to 2020 to join up with the caravan I was a couple days at pilots uh, by choice before I came here because I was just you know pulling in from Texas and wanted to get acclimated and get myself situated with Happy Haven and now coming out here and doing some cooking uh, went on four or five hikes um, campfires every night except for last night it got a little windy and a little cold but for nine nights straight I think we had campfires we uh, I videoed a bunch of nomads who came together to help someone who got stuck in a wash and I did a video on that. I'm not sure if it's already played or if it's going to be playing soon, but uh, most of us are 
I don't know, late 50s, 60s, 70s, but there was one gentleman here, actually in a, in a teardrop, real nice guy. He was younger, in his 30s, and a uh, fantastic Christian man who uh, is with a sweet little Morky, and I got to see his dog. I fell in love with his dog, actually, so <laughs> who knows what the future's going to bring. But uh, got to talk to him, and it's always fun to talk to younger people, too. I know he's looking for some people his own age. He's not uh, joining the Senior Citizens Club. But he was uh, very open and, and fun to talk to. So that was nice to just get people that aren't just, are, you know, on a different, uh, in a different season, different page in their life, different, you know, younger. <laughs> that was really cool. So, all right, I guess this babbling brook doesn't have too much more to say for right now. Shared with you what we did every day and you know, in the afternoons, people seem to pull in into their little homes and, you know, it would be windy half the time and, I don't know, and then other people would sit outside for a while and people put their solar out every day and we seem to uh, commune a little bit more in the mornings, usually 9 or 10. We would go on a hike around 11, but I'm very thankful for this experience and to have made some friends for life and I hope you will plug into that share the love series because I think it's going to be really I don't know it could be a real new a new opportunity to for you to meet some of these people uh, before you decide to come out on the road or if you're already out on the road and then when you run into them you'll be like I know you and that will be really sweet so all right, heading back to Happy Haven. I'm just going to make another cup of coffee. I'm going to hard boil a couple eggs. 16 months on the road and I've yet to make a hard boiled egg, I think. <laughs> I love hard boiled eggs. I don't know, I might have made them once, but... And then I'm going to go into Walmart, get my Walmart therapy and do some more paperwork and Oh, I need to, you know, write some notes for my presentations and just going to regroup is what I call it. Just regroup on my own, um, away from the desert life, and then head into uh, the WRTR. So, all right, guys, that's about it. There's the fire pit over there, if you can see it. The fire pit and people's chairs. Let me turn it around here. Happy Haven from a distance. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> I feel blessed. I'm loving the, the size. I'm loving everything about it. And there's the fire pit. And there's my new friend Jolene that I interviewed. She's going to be leaving. And then... Uh, there's Kathy that I interviewed. I mean Sandy. I continue to call her Kathy. So you got to watch that one to the end. That She did something really funny when I called her Kathy. And there's Kathy right next door to her. And I also interviewed her. So, yes. Please tune in. And with no further ado. Oh, some people out walking couple people they got close together and they didn't know each other but the lady behind her asked if she could park close because I think she's kind of new to the lifestyle and then that was Liz that we met last year the lady behind her asked if it would be okay and then I saw them having lunch together yesterday and now they're out for a walk together so that's really fun and there's the fire some caravans they get together in the morning for a little coffee chat but People just leisurely come up here. This is kind of like the spot. And there's our boxes of wood. People uh, contribute wood. All right. Turning the babbling brook back on didn't want to do that. Blessings in your day and joy in the journey. Later.